take a journey that centers around the story of the Americans who forged a road to Tokyo through courage, ingenuity, and sacrifice. The Victory in the Pacific Tour brings travelers from Pearl Harbor to the islands of Saipan, Tinian, Guam, and Iwo Jima, revealing exclusive access to battlefields, rich historical content from expert guides, rare archival materials from the museum's collections, and curated oral histories. Travelers will experience the sites where, in stark contrast to their tropical serenity and beauty today, brutal war once raged. Two expert historians of the war in the Pacific, authors James Scott and Jonathan Parshall, will join the tour. The beginning of the end of Japan really begins with the Mariana Islands. I mean, it's, the Mariana Islands were strategic bases from which we were able to operate the air war against the homeland of Japan. Uh, and, 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 and the importance of those islands was really reflected in the, in the violent battles that we had to fight just in order to be able to get this prize specific real estate. Uh, that included one of the largest bonsai charges on Saipan of the entire war. Uh, when we actually got the Mariana Islands, however, our aviation engineers uh, were able to transform them into basically permanent air bases there. Tinian, for example, was the largest airport in the world at the time. Uh, and it was from there, it was from the Mariana Islands that we were able to take the air war home to the Japanese people. Each year, an official reunion of honor ceremony is held for veterans from both sides of the conflict, honoring their service and sacrifice just beyond the beachhead where the American Marines landed over 80 years ago, fostering peace as American and Japanese service members meet. Iwo Jima is open to civilian visitors just this one time a year. The museum has been making this annual visit since 2018 with a plane load of travelers seeking this once in a lifetime opportunity to set their feet on the black ash beaches. I think one of the cool things about the tour is that we actually cover the vast distances in the Pacific and really give our guests a sense of just how hard it was to get around in this theater, the enormous distances that were involved. Seeing the battlefields firsthand, in person, really gives you a sense that you just can't get through a book of what it's like to have been there. Um, I think Iwo Jima in particular really brings that home. Uh, being able to stand on top of Mount Suribachi and look down at the invasion beaches and practically be able to touch them with your hand. It's, it's an absolutely incredible sensation. The Victory in the Pacific Tour happens every March, boasting a 10-day itinerary, five-star accommodations, chartered flights, a comprehensive meal package, and exclusive touring throughout are included. From the blazing white shorelines of Saipan to the black volcanic ash on Iwo Jima's beaches, walk in the everlasting footsteps of the servicemen who gave their all for victory.